with a new product. Oh, sorry, I got sidetracked for a second. Um, this is the Power Brush Straightening Brush uh, from Euclis. U K L I S S. Um, so the uh, name on it is holographic so that's why I got to kind of like oh shiny um, so this comes in six different colors so black red blue pink yellow and white and we're gonna open this up all right so the one I got is black take it out of this so there's plastic over the buttons the buttons are here so you would have to be careful not to push on them but it's better than on the side like a lot of these brushes have um, it's got everything is one color so instead of having like the multiple color tips and stuff like some of these do uh, it, it is all one color. I don't see a locking thing here. This does rotate 360, so that's nice. And uh, there's not really anything in the box. Like there's no there's no instruction guide. So uh, I offhand do not know how hot this goes. So we're about to find out together. Everybody has these brushes nowadays and uh, I'm here to test another one for you so you know if it works or not so you see my hair no ringlet curls now don't let it fool you it's crazy hair I have had it up so there's no knots or should not be any knots, I should say. Um, so it looks like as soon as you plug it in, it does pop up on the screen. So it says off. So I'm going to turn this on. Okay, so hopefully this is in Fahrenheit. Um, so it says 450. So you can see that it's counting up here and it's it's moving fairly quick uh it has this nice little like thing there so uh that is still still going we're at 180. so in preparation i am grabbing my glove because your hair gets really hot if you're like me and have to use the highest setting on most of these, um, you can burn yourself on your hair. So you don't want to do that. Move a couple of things out of the way here. All right, so we're at 340. So that's not bad. Uh, I mean, we've been talking and we're at four minutes and it's already almost up to temperature. So definitely not bad. All right, it's slowed down quite a bit at 360, and it looks like it's picking up pace again. 390. So I'm gonna let this heat up, and I'm gonna come back. Okay, so I have brushed my hair just in case there is any tangles, and we are now up to temperature. Now, I will say, I do, get kind of a smell of burning plastic. Um, sometimes that happens. You do need to spray your hair with heat protectant. All right, so I've got my glove and we're gonna, oh, can you hear that? That's the hair protectant and you can see the smoke. I've had this stuff for a while. Um, I love it though. If I 
can find the link I'll leave it down below so it works better if you hold your hair kind of like this and push down as you go through slow I've done a lot of these if you can't tell so definitely want to go slow with the hair because most of your straightening is happening between these each little thing has a straight part and then the bottom base down in there is also what's straightening your hair. So you want to press your hair against that as much as you can to make those faster. Although, you see that's against my skin. It still says 450. So, anti-scald, check definitely good on that part the thing I originally wanted these for was when I got bangs um, I wanted to straighten just the bangs and when I tried doing it with a regular straightener looking in the mirror I kept missing and I was afraid it was gonna burn myself and it really scared me so that is how I ended up on the quest for the perfect straightening brush all right so you can see my hair is still shiny. Looks pretty straight. It's actually doing really, really well. I would have to say so far, this is probably my second favorite brush. Um, my first brush has been my favorite so far over the times. And I know people were like, well, that was because it was your first one, but the worst thing about straightening your hair is when your hair is straight, but it's frizzy because the reason I want to straighten my hair is so that I have nice shiny hair that's not poofing everywhere. Yes, you see in it, you know, it's nice and curly, but it doesn't stay like that for long. When my hair is straight, correct, I can brush my hair if I want to, run my fingers through it without having to, you know, fight with it. Oh, my hair kind of burnt my ear there. Not the brush, my hair. Um, so I definitely prefer when my hair is straight. Except for it sucks wearing my hair up when it's straight because it doesn't want to stay up. Or at least not in my bun holder. Whirl a style thing. But if I was to want to do anything fancy with my hair, I'm going to have to straighten it before it can be done. One of my friends tried to help me bleach my hair. Well, I shouldn't say tried. She did. But, um... We spent over an hour just trying to brush my hair out. Because by the time she thought she was done, um, there was more knots. So, that's why I call it demon hair. And you do want to make sure to get underneath as well. I'm trying to do small sections. Because the smaller the section you do, the quicker this is going to go. Now, I do have a little bit of hair loss. I mean, it's not a lot. Just about the same amount that I would get normally brushing. Um, I will say that this right here does not get as hot. I have a, a tendency to put my finger here. It does, it's warm, but it's not like, oh my God, I'm burning my finger hot. Like I can, I can handle it. So 
that's definitely a nice feature. And here I said to take your time and I'm rushing. Look at that. I would say the ends are the hardest part for me because they just want to stay curved, you know, just ever so slightly. And then the glove makes it hard to grab a hold of it sometimes. Alright, so I'm really liking that. Do you see how shiny that is? That's the way your hair is supposed to look when you straighten it without damaging it. Okay, so let's get to work on this side. Do you see the difference? Like, I, to me, that's a huge difference. Thumbnail. Okay, I think I got a good image. Alright, so I feel like this side is good, except for, I have like this wave right here that does not want to go away. So I'm going to pull this over here, and I'm going to brush through this with my detangler brush. See, that wave. just in that area. Oops. Oh, cool. If you press the power button twice without holding, you lock it in. So that's pretty cool. So that actually helps with the whole, oops, I turned it off. Which happens. I'll tell you, it does happen. All right, so it's this part right here. All right. So this part appears to be done. So I'm going to scrunchy it. Cuz I don't have any clips. Okay. It's amazing how long my hair actually is when it's straight. All right. So, I feel some knots going on here in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through those real quick. start with this stuff over here. Woo. So we're going to actually do this the way you're supposed to. Switching hands for my glove. Pulling off some of this hair stuck to it and we're gonna go ahead and hit this now this does get pretty hot so you may oh, hit the button hey the lock kept it so all right, I hit a knot. Yeah, you may want a fan or something. I'm gonna turn on my bathroom fan because it gets pretty toasty. 
during the summer I've, had, I've actually had to go sit somewhere in between sections. So overall, I have not spent much time right now doing this, and we already got one side done. So I'm really loving this brush. Loving it quite a lot, actually. And I, uh, I've had like six of these brushes, I think. I've had quite a lot. All of them are available for video review on the channel, so you can check those out. Like, I literally have six of these videos. Um, there's been a couple that, I mean, they worked okay on my hair, but they just didn't cut it when it came to actually being silky. It left my hair frizzy. So, watch those videos to find out which ones I'm talking about. We actually just tested a different one of these the week before last, I think. So. underneath that looks straight all right I got a curl right here I'm switching hands for this glove I don't know why on the right hand side I always end up grabbing it with the hand that doesn't have the glove all right so looking in the mirror instead of trying to look in the phone. And if you're like me and you have those like really fine hairs at the base of your neck, those are a pain in the butt to get with any straightener and any straightener brush. It doesn't matter which one. Alright, so I feel like that area is good. So we're going to move that over here. And this is probably all going to get mixed together. try to keep this organized here. Minus the bang. Oh, I still got a big chunk. Hold on. There we go. Is it that wave right there? We're gonna make that go away. My hair kind of looks weird like this. after one pass. that stubborn wave right here and right here that is like the worst part to get rid of even when other people are doing my hair uh, it's hard to get rid of that Whew. I want 
Ooh, that's hot in my ear. Okay, so I would say that we are done. And this did not take very long at all. Oh, let me see if that's a curl or if that's just a... skin is just so so sensitive this one's probably super red too so you can see I can run the brush through it I can run my hands through it it's actually like shiny it's soft Okay, so take the lock off, you have to double tap it again, and then press and hold to turn it off. So, I definitely feel like my hair looks good. It's nice and straight. It's super soft. I'm not a poof mess. Like, no frizzies needed. <laughs> So, I would definitely say I like this brush. What do you think? Short hair? Not short hair. Not short hair. Straight hair? Um, so yeah, that is this straightener brush. It definitely did an amazing job. You know, my hair doesn't... And I will say that if I were to put my hair up after doing this, usually it gets wavy. So, you know, if I want to keep it straight, I have to wear it down. But I've never tried it with those ones that don't give you the uh, hair crinkles, those hair ties. Normally I can't use them. My hair eats them, but I have not tried it while it's straight, so I'm might need to do that and see if that can help extend the wear of my straight hair. I just love messing with it. I mean, it's just so shiny. Like, I don't normally get this kind of shine out of my hair. So, that is the straightening brush, and this is from the Euclis. I don't know if a clue how to pronounce that, uh, but you know, it it worked, and you can see that it worked. I mean, it, it did amazing. I think this is my new favorite. So definitely, if you want to buy this, I'll have the link down below. Um, I think it's Amazon. I'm going to have to go look it up because I'm not sure offhand. Uh, so I will have all the details down below where you can buy this brush. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all later. Bye. Crazy, better when everything is wrong. It rains when you're here and it rains when you're gone. I was there.